everybody, it's Sherry Truler here with Red Apple Auctions. I wanted to talk to you about spring versus fall auction fundraiser. Which is the best? <laughs> well, to be honest, I think you can have a good auction regardless whether it's spring, fall, summer, or winter. But I did have someone call me, one of a, a client who's looking at moving their date possibly from the spring to the fall. Sometimes I'll have a client call and they're looking for the reverse, maybe, maybe moving it to the spring. And they want to know my opinion for where do I think it's it's a good time to have an auction? So I tend to like some fall events here along the East Coast. They seem to not be as popular as spring events. And I've noticed some real strong advantages to having a fall auction. And I thought I would share them with you today. So first off here, it's less competition if you're doing an event in the fall. Because there are seemingly more spring events than fall events, that means that you're on the same procurement cycle as everybody else. So you're going out and asking for items at the same time everyone else is who's having a spring auction. You're going out and asking for sponsorships and for underwriting at the same time everyone else is. If you can break that up a little bit, and maybe you're on a different cycle than most of your other groups in the area, that gives you an advantage in asking asking for, for items. So less competition with regards to items and sponsorships is one thing. So you're not fighting with other auctions in the area. The second piece is less competition with regards to attendees. Because there are more spring events, you're really dealing with the number of attendees who can go to different places as well. Even if this group over here isn't having an auction, you are still competing with them because some of their guests could have been your guests hypothetically. So if you had an event in the fall, then there isn't a question in the guest's mind as to where they should go on a Saturday night in April. They don't need to worry about it because your event's in the fall. The other event that they honor is in the spring. No sweat. You'll get them at your event and get them to spend money. Number three is specialty items. I don't know, we here in America seem to like to decorate our yards quite a bit. You come, come October, you're gonna see a scarecrow out in a lot of yards for Halloween. You'll see Santa Claus in a lot of yards in December time frame. But I don't see as many yard art. I don't see a lot of that at our spring holidays here in the United States. I don't think I've ever seen a profile of Abraham Lincoln or George Washington out in somebody's yard in February for President's Day, for instance. I don't often see Halloween, or excuse me, um, Valentine's Day decorations out in the yard. Sometimes I'll see Easter, but it doesn't seem to be as popular as decorating your home for Halloween and for the holidays. So because of that, why not work with our cycle here of if people like to do yard art during the fall, let's go ahead and put out some tables. So if I've got a September auction, I might have a table devoted to Halloween decor. Or if I'm doing a November, December auction, I might have a couple of tables devoted to holiday decor for your home. Why not work with that? Let's go ahead and get people to stock up because chances are they're going to see something on that table that they can use in the next few weeks and they're like, ah, I'm going to buy that. And then finally here is mindset. And by that I mean when you are having a fall auction, particularly one in late October, November, people are starting to gear up for the holidays. They're going to be buying gifts. They have to buy gifts. Well, they don't have to, but many, many Americans buy gifts for others in that time frame. So let's work with that natural cycle that's already built into us here. And let's go ahead and have a fall event targeting that. We know that they're going to be there to buy. So they're more likely to buy things in the silent and live auction because they're already thinking about December and who they can give to what. We are not having that same mindset in the springtime because the holidays are just too far away from the date of our event. I'm Sherry Truler with Red Apple Auctions. Hope this helped here and gave you a little bit of food for thought. For more auction ideas, you can go to our website. That's at redappleauctions.com. I do have a free gift for you up there. It's What Sold Divine in 2009. The top 100 items I sold in auctions last year that sold for overvalue. And I will instantly email that out to you if you visit our website. So check that out. Hey, thanks for watching. I'm Sherry again with Red Apple Auctions. Good luck to you in your benefit auction.